Big thanks to Gameflip for sponsoring today's video. You can buy and sell all sorts of digital goods here, including App Store and Google Play cards. Gameflip comes with their Gameflip guarantee, so that if something you bought doesn't match its description, you'll get your money back. If you sign up using my link below and enable two-factor authentication and email verification, you'll get up to 20% off your first purchase, up to $2. If you want to use Gameflip on the go, they also have apps for Android and iOS. Hey guys, what's going on? So here we are into the update. I think before we do this summoning video, I wanna just poke around and check out all the new stuff. So yeah, we got the rune dungeon. We gotta check out the Nikita advent, of course. See who the recommended heroes are, the ones that, that get a bonus, you know, all that good stuff. Of course, we wanna check out the shop and the costumes and see if they can actually be purchased with gold. Boom. They can, ooh, they can, but they're expensive. Seven million. Oh no. Okay. Uh, it looks like the special costumes can only be purchased with money. That is unfortunate. Um, yeah, Rebecca too, and Mary, I guess. E. Um. I can't really be too optimistic about that. I mean, um, yeah, we can buy the other costumes with gold. Oh, not this one. That one's diamonds. Okay. <laughs> I guess they only showed Mina in the preview because she's the only one you can buy with gold. Um, the rest are 500 diamonds, it seems. Yeah, all of them are 500 diamonds, uh, except for the special ones, which are 20 bucks. Well, GG. Okay. Well, it looks like Mina's on sale. Maybe that's why she's only 7 million gold. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm really not sure how to be an optimist about this. I usually like to be optimistic, but this is straight pay to win. Diamonds, understandable. Even if like these special costumes costed like a thousand diamonds, you know, that would be understandable because even free to play people could eventually get it. But these are extra stats extra skill abilities that free to play people will never ever have with zero chance to ever ever have them unless these special costumes eventually go on sale or get changed in some way that will allow that so we have to wait for that that's the only optimist thing i can say right now wait and see maybe they eventually become purchasable with in-game currency um okay but for now damn I was kind of, I'm, I'm a bit shocked, honestly. I wasn't really expecting them to uh, charge actual dollars for it. Crystals, yeah. When, when I heard it was gold, even though 7 million is a lot, that was equally unbelievable. I mostly thought it was gonna be crystals, which, you know, most of them are. Hey, I thought we had five attempts in the shining badges. Well, let's give it a try. I have a feeling it won't be super hard. Oh yeah, and we can see the uh, outline here. Tayo and uh, Christian are red. Well, let's just give it a try. Maybe maybe it won't be super hard. Maybe we can just go in with this team. Let's just try Christian second here. Okay, yeah, it's not hard. Yeah, it's basically like the rune dungeon or, you know, whatever. The Evo dungeon. It's that level of difficulty. Oh, what? One star badges? Advent HP recovery amount. Oh, in advents. Okay, because here we have a boss dungeon HP. Oh, that's, that's bizarre. Is this the only difficulty, though? Yeah, there's just hard. Oh man, which actually makes the six star badge package in the shop quite a bit more. I don't know, maybe I'm just being pessimistic now. You know, this is the first day of the update. We just jumped into it. I shouldn't, eh, well, let's give it some time. Rip, one and two star. Well, it's not really a big deal. Like I, I don't use Mina very often and she'd be the only costume I, I would actually consider getting right now because it is for gold. And obviously I want to use my crystals on this new hero, so it's all good. I will be summoning for her later on today. Um, this video is basically just going into the update and um, yeah, we can also check out the Nikita advent and uh, party info. Uh, of course, Verdandi. All water allies attack. Okay, and Esna, maximum HP. I hope I have some Esna friends. I do have Karen though, I just recently raised- No! No! Dio! Oh my god, really? 
Why would they do that to, like, the one good water DPS we have? What the hell, man? Bruh. He is, like, my strongest hero, water or not. Maybe besides Christian, but Jesus Christ. Don't do- no, come on. This is so crap. I'm disappointed. Now it's like you have to get Verdandi if you want anyone. Like, maybe you could have done it with Tayo, but no. I mean, sure you can if you want all your allies to have their attack decreased by 500%. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Come on. Okay, we're not even gonna... Yeah, okay, we'll... No. I'm not gonna waste my stamina. We're not even gonna try this advent until we get Verdandi. I feel like such a tool right now. I mean, I was gonna go for him anyway. But they f basically force you to go for him, because you can't even use Tayo here. Okay. 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 I'm... <laughs> I, I love this game, you know? But, I don't know, that feels... that feels a little wrong, honestly. Oh, we also have our SSR ticket. Maybe, maybe it's, uh... Oh yeah, Marduk. Okay, we can raise him. <laughs> Might have to, actually, for this dungeon, I don't know. Whatever, we're just gonna go in just to see. I mean, we can take, like, Karen, and, yeah, that's pretty much it, because no Tayo. Um, we're, we're gonna get Redondi. I'm probably gonna still call him him, because he looks like a damn male. He has no breasts. Um, I know it's like, someone told me, I, I didn't read their hero story, apologies, but, like, Come on. Yeah, whatever. Let's just go with uh, Amon, Christian, Karen. Probably need to raise Karen a little higher, but after Verdandi. Whatever, it's just a test anyway. I'm not going to waste any Esnas I do have right now. So, uh, whatever. I don't care about 36 energy. Let's just see what's going on with the first stage, because we ain't going to get past that, I assume. Hello, buffalo pig dudes. Let's uh, push this on ya. Immunity. Of course you have immunity. Okay. Goodbye, Morgan. Um, what was that? Alrighty then. Let's uh, check out what kind of buffs they got going on. Guaranteed to multi-strike and deal massive damage when attacking no- Oh! Non-water enemies. So you need five water. Berserk rages when the enemy revives. Revives one time upon death. Okay, yeah, so you need a water mono team and you can't have Tayo. That's cool. Becomes immune to abnormal statuses, increases attack speed, goes into a rage to greatly increase damage dealt, and increases attack. But yeah. Alright. Let's see how much damage I can do with Tayo's third skill. Boom! 3000. <laughs> okay. Okay. I guess we're done here. Uh, you need a mono water team. Um, oh my god, my weak unraised Karen's first skill did as much as my Christian's third skill. That was fun. I have like two water heroes. One of them can't join, so I have Karen, basically. Yeah, alright, guess I'll have to try again after I raise Verdandi and I guess three other water heroes? I mean, what can I really... But yeah, alright, that's, uh, that's pretty sad. Let's spin the roulette. Definitely not rigged. Well, I do have quite a few, uh, evolution materials to raise a couple heroes. Um, I had to get rid of some of it to get some six-star SRs, because I was running out of space. You can see I still have, still like, 784 out of there. But all those six star SRs, I'm going to feed to raise the level of the new hero and maybe Marduk or something for the advent. But I still have quite a few of the uh, the five star evolved mons left, and I think even a few four star ones down here as well. Yeah, I don't know if I can get very many purple stars on them because that takes a lot of resources. But also with the summoning, you know, you're getting four and five star uh, heroes, which you can use for food as well. But I guess that'll do it for right now. Gotta manage my inventory so I have some space to actually summon. I have to accept the fact that I need to raise like four heroes in order to try this advent. I have to accept the fact that the special costumes cost real money and, and all the other ones cost a pretty good chunk of diamonds. You may want to get Mina though, just in case. I'm probably gonna go ahead and buy it. 
Uh, let's go ahead and equip it as well. Why not? Um, because could be they go on like rotation, like Mina is on sale now. Maybe some of the others will, will go on sale later. So instead of paying diamonds, you pay gold. So we can actually see that now. Let's go to the badges menu. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't know. I'm just going to try it and equip like the one stars. I guess. We got no rainbow ones yet. Let's just give her anything for now. Probably not really gonna... I still, I still don't use her very often. Just sometimes for like guild battle in a second team or so. All right, but yep, that's pretty much the normal costumes. That's all you can really do with those. Uh, I think special costumes just give you like some skill enhancing stuff. I say just, but when I was reading Morgan's costume effects, that's pretty crazy what those special costumes do. But yeah, all right, I guess I'll get back to you guys a little bit later when we uh, yeah, make some space and all that bull crap. But yeah, until then, make sure to tell me what you think about the update so far. What are your thoughts about the costumes? In fact, you can't use Tayo in the new advent. That was heartbreaking. Leaving a like if you did happen to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks. As always for watching, and until next time.